What's up guys, this is Virus and today I will show you how to export X models out of COD4, COD5 or Black Ops 1 into .obj or .ma files for usage in Maya or any other 3D programs. For this tutorial you need a Call of Duty 4 client with installed mod tools 1.1, so if you don't have that, check out my other tutorial which I'll link on the screen. So at first check out if you have the images folder in your raw folder in your Call of Duty 4 mod tools. If not, simply create one there called images. Now download Tom's Xmodel Utils from the link in the description. When it's finished, extract it somewhere to your desktop or wherever you would like to have it. And additionally create a folder somewhere on your PC where the models should get exported in. Now open up Tom's Xmodel Utils. Go to settings and select the path of your Call of Duty 4 mod tools client. It will ask you if you want your images to be moved in your images folder. Just click scan here, it will take some time so I will quickly fast forward it. Afterwards you need to set the export folder which you've created before. All the models you export will go into this folder. Now set up a folder to save the GDT files. I simply use the source data folder in my mod tools where the GDTs are saved in. Click save and quickly restart Tom's X model utils. Now you should have a list out of all X models used in COD4 which you can view by clicking on it. Hold left click to turn the camera, right click to zoom in and out and hold middle mouse button if you want to move the camera. I don't know why the textures aren't loading on my laptop where I'm recording this, but it should show the correct textures for you. Now you just need to click on export obj if you want a wavefront model or export ma if you want a Maya file and you're done exporting your X model. It will also save the textures related to the model you exported and the material file which can be used in most of the 3D programs out there. As a small tip, if you want to recompile models for whatever reason, you can create the GDT and the Xmodel export files with Tom's Xmodel utils, which are needed to do so. So that's it for this video, I hope I helped you out and see you in the next video.